Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my body care day haul. I am so excited to show you guys what I got because I went a little wild in the store. I literally spent 45 minutes just walking around and sniffing things and then taking things out of my bag and putting them in and out and in. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so much fun though. My associates were so super sweet. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the haul. Before I get into the haul though, I do wanna just talk about my experience real quick of Body Care Day 2022. So I did go to the River Oaks Bath and Body Works in Houston, if you guys know where that is. I always find that those associates are literally the sweetest ever. So right when I walk in, they're super sweet. I'm like, can I use my Candle Day bag? Because I just wanna use a reusable bag. She's like, yeah, sure, please use it. And I asked her questions throughout the time, you know, like, is there a shower gel in this? Is there whatever in this? And they were so sweet. And I was recording in the store and she was like, I have to ask you something. Are you like a Bath and Body Works influencer? Like, are you, or no, she said a partner. I was like, no, I'm not that popular. I don't have that many followers. She was like, oh man, I just thought it was really cool that you were filming. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. She was so sweet and so adorable. And then um, the manager was also walking around and there were girls walking around with the Candle Day blanket. So I did pick up the Candle Day blanket. I'm gonna show you guys that first because I think it's so cute and I really wanna like feel it and see how it feels. So I'm thinking there was like a quota on how many they were supposed to sell because when I bought this, the associate who rang me up was like, thank you so much for buying it. Like she was very sweet about it, but they had like five on each side of the checkout register. They had a table of like maybe five or eight. And then they had some of the associates walking around with them in their hands, you know, showing them to people, telling them about the deal. So I had them hold one up front for me just in case they sold out, but I don't think they will. They might sell out by the end of today, but I didn't see anybody else buy it while I was in the store. So I don't know if people are actually buying this, but it feels so nice. And I really do. It is $59.95 um, regularly, but it was the, what was it? $30 with a $40 or $45 purchase. And it says Merry Christmas, Bath and Body Works. I would give it to somebody, but honestly, I'm the only one in my family who's like Bath and Body Works obsessed. So it's just me, but I do want to open it up and show you guys how big it is because I need one that's gonna be big enough for me on the couch. Okay, so here it is. It is probably about five feet tall <laughs> because I'm five feet tall. It's about five feet by maybe four, five by four. It's pretty big, you guys. I could put this on my bed and be happy with it. It's super thick. It's got like Sherpa on this side and then this really soft, material on the other side and it says Bath and Body Works. So I'm very excited for this one. I have a feeling Kai is gonna try and steal this from us. Kai is my dog, by the way, but it's perfect because it's white and his fur is white. So if his fur gets all over it, it's fine. But this is really soft and cozy. This is gonna be nice when it's back to being cold here in Texas. We've had some hot weather the past couple of weeks of December, but November was actually cold for us. It was like 30s and 40s for like half of November. So once it gets back to that, I'll definitely be using my blanket, but I'm gonna set this up behind me and then get to the haul. Okay, so for my body care day haul, I did want to put it in my candle day bag, but I didn't think about how heavy it would get. So this is pretty heavy. So I'm not gonna hold it up for long, but I gotta get a thumbnail. So, so this is everything I got. I'm gonna set this down right here. First off, I picked up a few candle boxes because I got some uh, candles to gift during candle day and forgot to get boxes. So I got a few of those. Oh Lordy. Okay, so. As you know, everything was $4.95. Um, I did not have a single coupon and I ended up spending $1.29 pre-tax. So pretty much $100 on body care and then $30 for the blankets. So I got 20 items. So let's get started with, um, with some gifts. Okay, so tonight we are actually going to a birthday party slash ugly sweater party. So I got her a few things. This is one of Ryan's coworkers. We've been out with them a lot, but I don't know their like personal preferences on scent. So I stuck with Aromatherapy Eucalyptus Spearmint. This is a classic and I got her the Lux Bath. This is so nice. I wanted to get myself one, but honestly, I don't take that many baths in this house that we're in right now because our bathtub's on the first floor and we live 
or our bedroom where I have all my bath products is on the third floor. It's just way too complicated to try and get everything down there. It's too much of a hassle, so I don't take baths. Um, so yeah, I got her the Lux bath and then I got her the shower steamers. I thought these are cool and unique and they're fun. And you just stick this down at the bottom of the shower and relax. So I got those for her, so I'll pack those up tonight to go to her party and give that to her as a present. I got a few sweater weathers for my brother. This is his absolute favorite scent of all time. Last year I got him three. I think it was a little overkill, so I just got him two this year. It's Sun Crisp Apple Autumn Leaves in Orchard Woods. I didn't look at the back, but this one is kind of messed up, but it's okay. He doesn't care. This one smells so good. It's a really nice, just apple fresh air kind of scent he loves this one so i picked those up for him and then ryan if you're watching skip like four or five minutes okay i'll put a timestamp like right here for you ryan okay you need to skip all right you skipped okay good so ryan is my boyfriend for those who don't know and i did pick him up some body care because he's running out of shower gels so that's really the only thing he uses sometimes he'll use the spray but I picked him up a whiskey reserve. Now I love this packaging. This is so cool. Um, I just love this. Like, I don't know. It looks so upscale for them. So this is 1550 and I believe the regular men's stuff, men's um, shower gel is 1450. Even this sweater weather is 1350. So this is a little bit more for this beautiful packaging. So I'm glad I got it on sale, but whiskey reserve. Oh, they don't actually show the notes on the back of the shower gels anymore so i have no idea what whiskey reserve is i'll put it down below but mm, it smells phenomenal the way i think of getting products for him is if i'm gonna like the way he smells then i'm gonna get it so and he likes ones that aren't like too complicated too so that's whiskey reserve and then this one is so much fun you guys i got him smoked old-fashioned in two different forms i got him the shower gel and the body spray because because this is his drink of choice and I thought it was so much fun. It actually really does smell like a smoked old fashioned. So the notes are smoked orange bitters, bourbon vanilla. Oh, it actually says bourbon vanilla. That must be a uh, spelling error. And cedar wood. This one smells so yummy, you guys. And here's the um, shower gel packaging. Again, that beautiful ribbed packaging with such a like upscale label on it. It looks so nice. I think they really have started put, putting thought into the men's body care. And you can tell because I think they've had a lot more sales on men's body care lately too. So it really smells like an old fashioned. It's so cool. So I picked that one up just for the novelty of it. I'll probably wrap these two up together and put the other one in his stocking. But I just thought that was so much fun to put like a um, cocktail drink together for the men because they always have cocktail drinks for the women, but they don't for the men. So I thought that was so much fun. And I think that's it for gifts. So everything else is for me. So that's a little concerning because I got a lot. So first off, I told you guys I was gonna up my game on Midnight Amber Glow and I certainly did, you guys. I got uh, five different items. So I got myself a backup of the perfume. I already have it. I've already gone through half of it. I'm obsessed, so yummy. And then I got a trio in the shower gel, body lotion, and body cream. Notes on Midnight Amber Glow are smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Oh, just a wonderful mocha latte, ambery scent. I don't even know how to describe it, you guys. This is just one of my favorites right now. And I have a feeling it's going to be a favorite going into next year. And I just wanted to have a whole set for myself whenever I wanted to reach for this because I feel like this is gonna be like my new signature scent. So, or it kind of is already my signature scent. And then I picked up the Midnight Amber Glow Body Butter. I am so excited to have a body butter. This is 1950, so this was really a steal for um, body care day. And I did check it to make sure nobody had touched it, which they hadn't, but some did end up on the label. But this smells amazing. I love their body uh, butter formula. And this is a Glotion body butter, actually. I did not know that. Um, so it does have some shimmer in it. Let's try a little bit on my hand. Oh my goodness. I'm sparkling like Edward Cullen. Are you kidding me? Okay, so there's my hand, all shimmery and gorgeous. So that one's fun. I did not know it was a Glotion. So that one is Midnight Amber Glow in the body, the Glotion Body Butter. So that's all the Midnight Amber Glow I picked up. And then I did pick up 
iced sugar plum in the shower gel and the body lotion. I already have the fine fragrance mist from when they did the 425 sale. So that was a really great deal. So I picked up those two. This is sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals and whipped marshmallow. Just a really nice fruity marshmallow scent, which I tend to love those. So like they had pink velvet cupcake um, last year that I adored. So I typically love these and I go for them, especially in the springtime. Mm, so this one is so yummy and I'm just really happy to have that in a full set now. Another set I got wrapped in vanilla. I also picked up the uh, Fine Fragrance Mist at the 425 sale. So that is wrapped in vanilla. This one is soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. You guys, this is one of my new favorites. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm so happy they came out with another vanilla scent besides just warm vanilla sugar because those are my favorites. Those are my absolute favorites. I am a vanilla girl till the day I die. Mm. And it has this beautiful, I think that Chantilly cream gives it this beautiful, like, like freshly iced cupcake scent. That's really what it smells like. Like you're whipping up buttercream is what it smells like to me. It smells so stinking good. I'm about to put it on my, my hand actually, but I'm gonna have to use this um, body cream fast since it is a vanilla scent. Um, those do go bad pretty quickly. So I'll probably have to use it within the year that I got it. But oh my goodness, this just smells so good. So I'm happy to have wrapped in vanilla. I'm so glad they came up with another classic, simple vanilla scent because those are literally my favorites. So that is that one. And then I got a few one-offs in other scents. So I really wanted to try Life of the Party. Um, I know it's really similar to Champagne Toast and I have that one in a fine fragrance mist that I'm gonna try and use up in the spring. So I got the shower gel to go with it. And this one is Pink Citrus, Bubbly Prosecco, Jasmine, and Shimmering Vanilla. It really does smell very good. I think the Jasmine is a little stronger than I'd like, which is why I really didn't get it in any other form besides the shower gel because I can't do floral. I really don't like it, but sometimes I can do it in a shower gel. So I picked it up in this just so I could try it, see what it's like. And if I love it, then I'll just pick it up again at um, SAS probably this winter at the semi-annual sale that starts on December 26th, the day after Christmas. But um, yeah, that's life of the party. I'm excited to try it. This packaging is stunning. It's so pretty and in person, like it's really gorgeous. These tiles just reflect light and it's so beautiful. So I really love this one. It's slightly more um, floral than I would have liked, but I still like it. And then I picked up some ones that I've actually never tried, which is saying a lot because I've been using Bath & Body Works since I was in like middle school. So I've never tried these scents because they're a little more floral than I'd like, like I said, but I wanted to give them a shot. So the first one is Pure Wonder in the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. This one is such beautiful packaging. Like I swear this is gorgeous. And I really started to like the glow body scrubs. I had Sweet Whiskey in it from last fall and I absolutely adored it. So I picked up Pure Wonder just to try. It is Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. So when I want to have like upscale showers and maybe for like date night or something, I'll turn to this body scrub. But yeah, that's Pure Wonder. And then I wanted to try out In the Stars. So I picked it up in the Moisturizing Body Wash. Like I said, on these more like floral ones, I'll try them out in like a body wash first to be able to see if I can like actually withstand them before I try them in anything else. So in the stars is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. This one smelled really good. I've um, tried it in store before, but I've never used it. I think I have it actually in a hand cream that I really do enjoy, but right now it's already given me a little bit of a headache just sniffing it. So I think this will be nice in the shower. I love the moisturizing body wash formula. That's really why I picked it up because I need more in this formula, but that is in the stars and I'm excited to try it. And then the last thing I picked up is Into the Night in the mini perfume. I figured this would be a great addition to my perfume collection. I've really started getting into perfumes and I wanna try Into the Night. They didn't actually have it in like a um, moisturizing body wash or scrub. So I picked it up in this just to try it and we'll see how it goes. I hope I love it, but we will have to see. So I'll try this one out. So that's everything for my 2022 body care day haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what are some of your favorites that you picked up today. I think mine has to be a combo of wrapped in vanilla and iced sugar plum. I think those two I'm really excited about.
about. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.